Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about filter transformation in IACS. Filter transformation is a powerful tool used to filter data based on a specified condition. Now, let me show you how to use filter transformation with a simple example. Say for example, I have a table called customers and you can see the data of the customers table here, right? Now, I'm interested to load this data into a flat file, but I don't want it to load all of this data into the flat file as is. I wanted to. I am interested to only load the data of customers who are residing in state called California. So how do we do that in IACS? Let's see that now. So first log into your IACS and select data integration service and create a mapping. And you can see I already have a mapping here with my sources Oracle. And I have selected customers table here. And my target is a flat file. So flat file that will be generated on my secure agent installation directory. This directory, right? So it has to be created here. And I think I already have the customers table here. So let's provide a new name and create a new file here. So I'm interested to actually filter the data on the state called California, right? Which was abbreviated as CA. So I'm providing my file name as underscore CA, right? So this file has to be generated into the that location, secure agent installation location, right? As a source as a target. But if I'm going to run this mapping as is, the data from the source, from Oracle, right? Whatever the number of records here, around 500, right? So 499 records. This data will be loaded into the flat file as is. But I'm interested to load only customers residing in state California, right? So how do we do that is we can add a filter transformation here. So add a filter transformation. So you can see, Jan, uh, you can actually name your filter transformation. All the incoming fields from the source are displayed here. Click on filter and you can see the filter condition. So keep it simple and you can see filter condition. We can add a filter condition here. So click on that plus icon and select the field name on which we wanted to filter the data. So I wanted to filter data on state and we have a different operators here. So I'm going to select equals here and value has to be equal to CA. Like this, we can have multiple conditions. We can add multiple conditions. Say for example, I can add field name again, like on city equals to some you know, Los Angeles, like that, right? So like that, we can have multiple conditions added to. For now, I'll just have a simple condition, save this mapping and run it. So just make sure your runtime environment, you select your secure agent machine, uh, your secure agent and it is up and running, right? And run the mapping. So you can track your mapping job in my jobs. It seems to be queued and it is running now. Just wait for a few seconds. Yes, it is done. The mapping jog is successful now. And we can even see there are like 39 records has been processed, right? So let's go back to this location and you can see the file has been generated. So let me open the file. The data has been loaded and clearly we can see that the state is CA here, right? So the customers who are residing in California has been loaded into the target flat file, right? So we can validate this as well. So go to your Oracle source and write a condition as state equal to California. And look for the row count. Yes, it is 39 rows, right? So the 39 rows got actually loaded into the flat file. Right, so this might seem to be a simple condition, but you can go ahead and create a complex condition as well by selecting the filter condition as advanced. Right, so you can write an expression here for the filter condition. So it was state equal to CA, right? So we can write a complex filter condition, like say for example, I wanted city equal to state equal to CA and maybe 
title equal to manager you can even write in logical or and then write your condition and so on right and you can see here we can even use a system variables parameters built-in functions and user different functions in the filter condition and once you write your condition you can even validate the condition as well so if the expression is valid whatever condition you have written you will get a message saying that the expression is valid so it has to be valid condition always and they say okay right so this way we can even write a advanced or complex filter condition here so uh, that's how the filter transformation works in iocs and remember when using filter transformation it is important to place it as close as possible to the source transformation that way it reduces the number of rows that needs to be processed by the downstream transformations thereby improving the performance so this is all about the filter transformation in iocs and yeah so in this video we understood how to use the filter transformation in iocs that's all for this video if you like the video please like subscribe and share it thanks for watching